Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Allen Tech. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a bootable USB on your MacBook using the disk utility. I recently had to do this for a older MacBook that had um, its hard drive been wiped and had no Lion disk, but um, Lion was the latest that it could take. So I had to find a downloadable drive downloadable DMG file to use for this. Um, you can use this with Mavericks and others as well. Mavericks and I believe Mountain Lion and Up have their own little utility in it and that might be slightly easier to use. But without further ado let's get into this. First of all you'll need a DMG image file and I have Lion here that I was able to find and download from a reputable source not some illegal source. So first thing we're going to do is mount that drive by double clicking on it. So we get the Mac OS X install ESD. And we can go ahead and close this window. Now we're going to go to go up in the finder window utilities and we want the disk utility. Now this Jarrett here is going to be my drive that I'm going to be booting from so it needs to be about 8 gigs you need at least more space than your DMG file is usually a little bit more because it usually expands a little bit more than what it says the particular 10.7.2 that I've downloaded is actually about four and a half gigs so you would need anything above that so we will select our Jarrett right here and we're going to click restore and you could click image here but unfortunately that if I click image and I'm at my desktop this is the only image I can use and we don't want to use that one we want to use the one that's already been mounted so we'll go over here to the Mac OS X one okay, we're going to right click Jarrett and set as destination we go back down here and we'll set this as source Alrighty. Then we will click restore. It's going to confirm that you want to erase this. I have this backed up somewhere else because I use this USB for work also. Enter our password. And then it's going to go ahead and start doing the copy process. And afterwards you will have a bootable USB. Alrighty, and we just finished. Um, I am sorry about some of the background noise. I am not in my normal recording place where it's nice and quiet, so there may be some background noise. But we just finished. Um, it took about 13 minutes on a 2011 MacBook Pro 15. And as you can see, now we have this drive listed as Mac OS X install ESD. So we have that at both places now. And if we go into it in Finder, it's the exact same thing. So this would be, whenever you're starting up, you hear the noise, you hit the Alt Option button, and you get the this USB as a bootable device. And it should work just as the disk. Um, maybe make a video on how to use that later, if I can figure out some way to record it without it looking terribly. Um, Thank you everyone once again for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. You do not know how much that helps, immensely helps. Um, if you disliked it, you're free to do that as well. Just tell me what I did wrong. Again, well, I'm sorry about some of the background noise. So once again, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Allen Tech, and I 